Time to break it down now. We have a lot to go over with our political analyst this morning. Yeah, UW political uh, science and journalism professor Mike Wagner in All Morning Long. You were also here late last night. We, we should give him a round of applause. But this is like, <laughs> go on. this is this is a, a pretty good reason to stay up late oh, yeah, and, and, is, and go sleep deprived. Because there, sure. yeah. uh, cause a lot was at stake last night and we had some very close races. I mean, almost every single race uh, was very, very close. Did that surprise you at all? No, not, not of the statewide races. I mean, we're, we're always a coin flip, basically, in governor's races, most Senate races. Um, but then in this case, even the Secretary of State race was very close. The Attorney General close as well. Uh, Democrats winning uh, these statewide races, except for the U.S. Senate, which uh, Ron Johnson appears to have held on to. The conversation we keep going back to is that Governor Evers, a Democrat, won re-election here. Mandela Barnes looks to be down. Ron Johnson above him. Um, yep. What is the role that those typically Republican red-leaning wow counties played in both those elections? So usually Washington, Ozaki, Waukesha counties are Republican strongholds. They're still Republican counties, but Governor Evers improved in all three and virtually in every single township across those three counties. And so there's a little bit of a, of a what I would say is a Trump effect where these suburban voters who are traditional Republicans don't respond as well to the Trump style messaging that the modern day Republican Party is, is offering. It's something for them to think about when they want to win statewide elections in, in Wisconsin. We've got the nation's capital behind us. You know, we were talking about that red wave that we were, you know, potentially expecting this election day. And we were talking off camera about how the election deniers, those sort of Trump back candidates, didn't do as well as anticipated. But I think every single governor candidate who denied the election has either lost or is, is losing comfortably right now. Wow. What are you going to take away from the 2022 midterms? It's a very divided country. The national divisions aren't quite the same as local divisions. And so just because national politics are one way doesn't mean that state politics can't go another. We saw that in our state where for the first time since 1998, uh, a Democrat won the governorship and a Republican won uh, the Senate. That was, that was reversed in 98 when Tommy Thompson was governor and Russ Feingold won the Senate. Yep. But you know, we can go both. We both, both parties can win statewide elections here. And that makes our state ground zero for national politics and state politics. Fascinating outcome. Mike, we have to Thank you again for all of your time over the last couple of days. We My appreciate pleasure. it. I, I've got one more quick question oh, before, we, before we let you go. Looking ahead to 2024. I, well, I know, right? <laughs> That's it, exhausting. It, no, it, it's going to come up quick. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think we're going to see a lot of national attention in 2024? More than we maybe, more, more than we maybe uh, do normally, uh, because of how things ended up last night. In a word, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Wisconsin will absolutely be a centerpiece of, of 2024 politics. Mm. All right. Good stuff this morning. Thank you for everything you've done for us. You bet.